Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, we are going to have a look on the topic of Biot-Sievers law. Now prior to Biot-Sievers law, the theory of magnetism was developed by Oersted, which was based on Oersted experiment. And he experimentally found that how the direction of current is related to the direction of magnetic field and how the strength of magnetic field increases when the separation of point of observation uh, from the current carrying conductor decreases or when the distance is increased. Okay. But these were experimental facts. He failed to calculate the magnitude of the magnetic field. Okay. So the magnitude and direction of magnetic field was theoretically explained by this Biot Sievers law. Okay. So now this law says that ki suppose we have a current carrying conductor of some arbitrary shape okay. and suppose it is carrying current in the upward direction. Okay. And this is the point of observation of magnetic field. Okay. So now we need to take one small element, length element, suppose this is of length dl. Okay. Now when current i flows through this, this quantity i dl, we call it as current element. Okay. This is current element. Simply dl, if you write dl, it is called length element. Okay. Now, we are taking one small element and for this small element, we will calculate the strength of the magnetic field and then we will integrate it so that we can calculate the resultant magnetic field for the entire conductor. Okay. Now, this is the length element okay, of length dl. When current I flows through this, it becomes current, this quantity I dl becomes current element. Now, this current element, see current I is current, dl is length element. Separately, both are uh, scalar quantities, they do not have any direction. But when I write I dl as the current element, it is a vector quantity and it is always in the direction of flow of current. So, current is flowing in this direction, so I dl will also be in the upward direction, in the direction of flow of current. So, this I dl is a vector quantity and vector symbol is marked over dl. Okay. So, this is current element. Now, I will join this point P from the midpoint of this current element okay. and this is vector R. Okay. So, that is vector R defines position of P with respect to the current element. Okay. This is the cause of magnetic field at P. Okay. So, now this is the direction of ideal, this is the direction of R and this angle is theta. So, basically theta is the angle between ideal and R. Okay. So, now this Biot Sievers law, it says that this strength of the magnetic field, see magnetic field is denoted by the symbol B, it is a vector quantity. So, now for this small element, we will take the magnetic field to be dB, small magnetic field dB. So, this magnitude of this magnetic field, it is proportional to the strength of the current. Okay. And the magnitude of the magnetic field is also proportional to the length element. Okay. And uh, the magnitude of the magnetic field, it is proportional to sin theta, where theta is this angle, theta is the angle between the current element and the position vector. And the last observation was the strength of the magnetic field is inversely proportional to square the distance of separation of point of observation of magnetic field from the element, small element considered. Okay. So now if I combine all these conditions, what do we get? We get dB proportional to IDL sin theta by R square. Okay. And uh, this, if you remove this proportionality symbol, then if this is free space or vacuum, then this dB becomes mu naught by 4 pi I dl sin theta by R square. Okay. Now, this quantity, this quantity mu naught, this is called permeability of free space. Okay. So, it depends. So, this quantity depends on the nature of medium. So, here since it is free space, it is mu naught. If it is some medium, it will be mu. Okay, so then it will be permeability of the medium. Now it is permeability of free space. Okay, permeability, permeability of free space. Okay, now this mu naught 
and the value of this mu naught by this 4 pi is also constant so mu naught by 4 pi this is equal to 10 power minus 7 the value of this quantity this constant is 10 power minus 7 this magnetic field unit is tesla this is meter square this is meter so it is meter per ampere so this is mu naught by 4 pi okay so this is the fundamental concept of bayard sievert law okay this is how we ex express bayard sievert law okay now let us write this expression in vector form because we all have only obtained the magnitude of the magnetic field we also need to express this in vector form so that we get the direction of magnetic field so this expression ideal sin theta we will write this as db vector is equal to mu naught by 4 pi ideal cross r divided by r cube so this is how bayard sievert law is expressed in vector form okay now what is the meaning of this see db is perpendicular to the plane containing ideal cross r now ideal is in this direction r is in this direction so ideal cross r will be in the inward direction so at point p magnetic field will be in the inward direction perpendicular to the plane of the board and it will be in inward direction okay now this can be verified using right hand thumb rule also because current if the current is flowing in the upward direction suppose this is this is the this is the current carrying conductor this pen is the current carrying conductor and it is carrying current in the upward direction so if i hold this conductor with my right hand such that thumb is in the direction of flow of current so curling direction of fingers gives the direction of magnetic field so see this is how i hold the pen okay so current is flowing in the direction of thumb so this is the this is how you are going to hold the pen so my fingers are going inward in this direction so magnetic field will be inward in this direction now if i observe see on the other side this side so fingers are coming out so in this side if the current is flowing in the upward direction magnetic field will be directed towards you in this direction okay perpendicular so if i say with regard to this board so if this is the pen current is flowing in the upward direction p point is in this direction point of observation of magnetic field is in this direction so magnetic field will be per perpendicular to the plane of the board directed inward and if the current is flowing in the upward direction same upward direction in this side this side the magnetic field will be perpendicular to the plane of the board and directed outward so these are some of the fundamental things with regard to current and direction of magnetic field and this is bayard sievert's law in vector form so i hope this is clear to you